you think box is big enough. Right, I've took it all up uh, because it wasn't running right. I had a feeling that it had gone down a bit wonky and uneven. Uh, so I'm not messing with it. So I took it all up. I'm going to scrape back all this, even it all up, all the wood, take all this off, get it sanded up, get it flat, and then I'm going to stick it down. Not with PVA because the PVA, you have to wait it to stick it down. That contact adhesive, you can put it down and you can stick it flat from the start. I've had no problems whatsoever with any of this, what I put down in that method originally. So I've gone back to the drawing board on this because I won't be happy. Um, so I'm going to scrape all this up, get it all back to wood stick it back down with contact adhesive properly clean all the track up make sure there's no uneven so it goes down flat it just wasn't right it was uneven you could see it was uneven i mean when the trains was going over it they were you know not as smooth as i'd like so what seems to have been like an age that is all smooth now and all the glues off of not great the pva for sticking track down it makes a right mess when you take it up um that's why that, that contact's better um so i'm going to stick it all back down now with contact adhesive this has all been sanded so it's all nice and flat now so hopefully we should get a better result so this is my plan i still got to scrape a bit of this away but i didn't want any points going over the joints i think that's what causes the problems <coughs> so once that's scraped out a bit, all the points can lay flat. So I brought that back up here, spaced it out a little bit with a smaller piece of track so I could fit a surface point motor in. And then I've got my run around loop here. So then it's just the track what's spreading the gap so it shouldn't cause problems. And then we should go into there and then we'll have a head shunt up there. So that's the run around, and then that allows me to still have a long stretch along this, which breaks off into two. But still, it would have been nice to break that off here, so I might still look at that. So then it gives me two along the lines. Um, but either way, it's going to run a lot smoother. So that's it up to now. So. I need to glue it all down so now there's no points overlapping um, it's not perfect because that joins on that side I would have preferred it all to end here um, but at least everything uh, joins now not on a point I've ended these ones here um, so then I can just put some straights on there. Well, that'll go into three lanes now. Um, but yeah, I think it's a lot better. Um, a lot more use of the space. And then um, once it's all down, it'll be flat and solid. So we shouldn't have any running issues. Um, okay, so we're all marked out. So now it's just um, put some glue. Okay, so it's all glued down. Just, uh, that bit needed holding down a little bit. It's all solid now. Everything works as it should. Uh, yeah, so I'm happy with that. I've tested the low coat, all goes up and down perfectly. The uh, other idea, loco were a nightmare. I thought there was something wrong or whatever, but ultimately I laid the track properly. But now it's straight onto the wood, solid. Um, 
going to be a lot better. Um, yeah, loads of space for shunting. And I've got my run around loop, which I wanted. That was the main thing. But no, I think that's going to work well. So, that'll do for this update. Um, and then, the point motors are on order. The uh, HM6 D10. Um, that's coming from eBay, got that for quite a good price. I actually paid £43 for it, but it actually includes the original Hornby plug uh, with it for £43 and the £42 quid on Hornby without the plug. Um, so best I could have got was £39 on Amazon, but I was still needed to pay for a plug. So got a bit of a bargain there, so that's coming. Um, and that's it really so we'll do that on the next one and then i need to get some more ballast and we'll ballast all this i've ordered four more lengths of straight yeah. so i can finish that area off for one beat um, and then we can get this all ballasted um, but everything fits the mallard goes past here i thought that i might have to change the wall or whatever but i don't it's uh, it's all fitting down there nicely so no, I'm happy with that.